Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 2.66 from Hamley's book. So the question is determine the value of V2. V2 is the voltage across this 5 ohm resistor and the power delivered by the source in the circuit of the this figure using mass current analysis. Okay, maybe let's do the let's draw the loop first. Let's name this loop here as I1 and then this loop here as I2 and this loop here as I3. Okay, so I will have I1, I2 and I3. Our target is to find out V2 and the power delivered by this. Uh, voltage source. Okay, maybe let's start by doing KVL at loop I1. Let's do that. KVL at loop I1. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, good. Let's start from this 12 volt voltage source. The current is flowing from negative to positive, so the sign will be negative. So I'll have minus. 12 and then let's move on to this 3 ohm so we will have 3 and the only current that pass through it is i1 so i will have i1 here and then we will have 10 ohm here so i will have plus 10 but then i2 is flowing to the opposite direction of i1 so i will have i1 minus i2 okay and then this 3 ohm is the next component, but the only current that pass through it is I1. So I will have four components and we have one, two, three, four. So that's all. So all of that will equal to zero. Right. So now let's move the 12 to the right hand side, but then we will have 3 plus 10, 13. And 13 plus 3 is 16, so I will have 16 I1. 16 I1, and then minus 10 I2, and that will equal to 12. Okay, maybe we can divide both sides by 2, so I will have 8 I1 minus 5 I2. And that will equal to 6. Uh, let's have this as our equation number 1. And then let's do other KVL, but this time at loop 2. KVL at loop I2. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to 0. Let's start from this 10 ohm resistor. So I will have 10. Then multiplied by I2, but then I1 is flowing to the opposite direction, so I2 minus I1. Okay, and the next component is 30 ohm, so I will have 30 multiplied by I2 minus I3, because I3 flowing to the opposite direction. So I have I2 minus I3. All of that will equal to 0, and we can do uh, some simplification. So we'll have minus 10 I1 and then plus I think we will have 10 plus 30 that will be 40 right? So I have 40 I2 okay and then we will have minus 30 minus 30 I3 so all of that will equal to 0 and we can divide both sides by 10. So I'll have minus I1 plus 4I2 minus 3I3 and that will equal to 0. Let's save this as equation number 2. Okay, now let's do another KVL but this time at loop 3. KVL at loop i3 again kvl said that the sum of the voltage will equal to zero okay let's start from this 
30 ohm so i will have 30 but this time we are working on i3 so i3 come first but here i2 flowing to the opposite direction so i'll have minus i2 okay and then we will have 25 so 25 multiplied by i3 and then plus 5 Okay, all of that will equal to zero. And then what can we do from here? Yeah, so I will have minus 30 I2. And then plus 30 plus 25, that will be 55. 55 plus 5, that will be 60. 60 I3. And all of that will equal to zero. But then we can simplify this by dividing both sides by 30. So I will have minus I2. And then plus 2 I3. And all of that will equal 0. Let's set that as equation number 3. And let's highlight. So we will have equation number 1, equation number 2, and equation number three okay now let's do a uh, calculator to solve the, the equation so solving one two and three we will have i1 i2 and i3 right so i1 I2, and, I3. and the fastest way to do that is by using calculator Okay, let's set it up. Let's set up our calculator as equation solver, which is number five. And three variables, that is number two. And let's plug in the coefficient. We will have eight for I1, and then minus five for I2, but then zero for I3. Remember that we have three variables here. And the right-hand side is six, so we'll have six here. Okay, and then we will have minus 1, and then 4, and then minus 3, and then 0. Okay, and then for I1, I have 0 here, remember that. And then for I2, I will have minus 1, and then I will have 2, and lastly, I will have 0. Hopefully, the number will be good. Okay, that will be good. So, I1 is 1 ampere. I1 is 1 ampere. Then, what is I2? I2 is 0 0.4, which is quite, number, quite a nice number. 0 0.4 ampere. And then, I3 is 0 0.2 ampere. Okay, 0 0.2 now let's solve the problem that is given by the question, which is V2. What is V2? V2 is I3 multiplied by 5, right? So I will have V2 is equal to 5 multiplied by I3. And I3 is 0 0.2. So I have 5 multiplied by 0 0.2. Therefore, V2 is 1, right? V2 is 1. Whoa. Okay. Now, let's highlight that because that is one of the most important value. And the power delivered by the source. The power is just the voltage, which is 12 multiplied by 1. and i1 is 1 ampere so we will have the power delivered by that 12 volt voltage source is 12 okay and this is the final answer let's highlight this and i think that's all for this problem i think i got it correct see you in the next video bye bye